Hey everybody, in this video we're going to talk about lead pages and specifically talk about is lead pages worth the money? Should you consider getting lead pages? And are there other landing page builders and things that are better? We'll talk about, I think, what the best uses are and if you should consider getting lead pages or not for your business. Hey there everybody, my name is Brandon Brashears and I make daily marketing videos. So if you're trying to grow your business with digital marketing, if you do anything from AdWords to Facebook ads to PPC ads to SEO, whatever kind of digital marketing you do, I create videos here every single day to help you get better at selling online. So consider subscribing. All right, let's talk about lead pages. I do use lead pages and I wanna mention that this is not a sponsored post. I don't have any affiliate links or anything, but I am a lead pages user. I think that lead pages is a great tool there's a few things that I really, really like about lead pages. I'm gonna actually jump into the computer here in just a second, and I'm gonna show you all the features that I think are great. Now, I've used all kinds of landing page builders. I've used Divi Themes, which is a native WordPress builder. I've used um, other WordPress builders like Thrive. Um, I've used ClickFunnels. I've used um, Infusionsoft's landing pages. I've used MailChimp's landing pages. And in my digital marketing agency, I think that there's a, a few things that I look at when I have tools that I recommend for clients. First, I think that it needs to be easy to use. If it's not easy to use, and if it's something that doesn't work well, it's not, that kind of disqualifies it immediately. And one of the things that I really like about lead pages is that it is very, very simple to use. Now you don't get all of the customization that you would if you were building out a custom landing page um, in general, especially when you start out with templates, it's a little bit difficult to add additional features and sections and things. Um, and you can't really make everything 100% custom. But I found that it doesn't really matter in general. You can build something that looks really branded and looks like your website, but at the same time, it's not difficult to build. So I'm gonna show you exactly how the builder works and everything inside the computer in just a second. But other than that, I think that price is also very important. If you're not doing paid ads or if you don't have a significant amount of organic traffic or traffic you don't have a specific way to drive traffic to your website, then having a landing page builder that you're going to pay for each month is not going to be worth it. So you need to have inbound traffic coming in for it to be worth it. They have a bunch of price points that it is very, very affordable, especially for what you get. Um, but I think that if you don't have an inbound traffic strategy, it doesn't make sense to be buying a landing page software. If you have your website, Plus the landing page software doesn't really make sense. I think that the features that lead pages comes with and all of the things that you can do with it makes it very appealing. I like that out of the box, most of the landing pages and the setups that we use, they get typically, depending on the traffic and the targeting and the messaging that we create, we're typically getting conversion rates in the 30% range. And depending on the, the traffic temperature, it can be higher. Or if it's just ice cold traffic, it can be lower as well. So um, I think that from a performance standpoint, they also work really, really well, which is something that's important. So let's jump into the computer here. I'm gonna show you all of the different features that I really like. I think that the landing page builders are great. I like the um, pop-ups. I like the lead buttons. I also like the lead digits, and I use that a lot in podcasts and other things. And so I think it's just a really well-rounded platform. It has a bunch of really great features. And I think it's, as far as comparing it to other platforms, I think it works great. So. Um, let's jump into the computer here. So on the pricing, they have annual and monthly contracts. Um, f for me, they're super affordable. And again, this is just mostly from a lead generation standpoint. I'm not talking about like we're selling products and that we have an e-commerce business and things. If you have a business where you have clients and you're trying to generate leads, you're trying to generate opt-ins for newsletters, you're trying to optimize your service business, um, I think that this is a great solution for that. If you're wanting to build an e-commerce business where you're selling products online extensively, I would say a, a platform like Shopify or WooCommerce would be the way to go. Um, this is for lead gen. So real estate agents, um, service professionals, people that want to generate leads online and use their digital marketing to create leads, this is a great way to do that. Now I have businesses that I sell products, but I still use this for like webinar registrations and um, you know, lead magnets and tripwires and book funnels and stuff like that. So what I use is Pro, which is 48 a month build annually. Um, it has all kinds of great features in it. Standard is 25 a month. If you wanna do any kind of payment collection, you're gonna to have to go into Pro. 
you have um, Stripe integration. So I just wanted to mention that. And then advanced for agencies and stuff, which that's fine. I don't really see too many benefits of the advanced integrations and stuff like that because I have Zapier, which I use. And one thing to mention here is this is a new feature that they've added, which is a, an opt-in bar at the top that'll pop up. I'm going to show you that here really quick. So you have lead pages, and then you have conversion tools. In conversion tools, we have pop-ups. And these are timer pop-ups, rule-based pop-ups for certain pages. Um, and I like these a lot as far as, like, newsletter pop-ups and stuff. Like this one has a 98% opt-in rate, which is cool. Um, like, that's huge. In general, the pop-ups work great. It's very simple to create pop-ups here. You just basically create the fields that you want. You brand it however you want. And then I'll show you here. And then you embed it in your web page. And it's just like a button that then pops up. So we're only creating this thing. And then once we hit the preview and publish button, then we're able to... But generate a code so we could do a link we could do a button we could do an image timed pop-up exit intent pop-ups so that's great in general that's a lot of uses for pop-ups and if you don't have exit intent pop-ups you're losing traffic i'm sorry you're losing opt-ins on your traffic and so it's definitely a good solution to get more opt-ins on your page so along with pop-ups we have alert bars which is that new feature for top of bars. I haven't actually built any of these yet, but I'm excited to be using these. Um, we have opt-in text, which is f formerly called lead digits, but if somebody texts the word, like for example, I have the word veterinary to 44222, um, somebody can opt in to that to sign up for my newsletter. The other thing are trigger links. So if you're sending out an email, then you can create a new link that if somebody clicks it, they're registered automatically. To, basically avoids the opt-in process. So if you sent out an email to your list of people you already have their email addresses, why do they need to sign up again? You just would basically say, hey, we are doing a special webinar. If you want to join, click this link. They click it, they go to a confirmation page. It says, okay, you're registered. And it carries their information over into the webinar now. That's kind of a cool feature. I found that it's difficult to implement in general, and it also had some trouble making it work. Um, so I don't use it extensively, but if you can figure it out and make it work, it's definitely makes sense why that would have a higher conversion rate for you. And then we have landing pages here. So I like their landing pages a lot in general. Um, it's cool. You have guided landing page creation, which is helpful. Um, and it basically will segment the different kinds of templates that they have available here. Now, typically I like to just see browse all templates and see what's cool too, is you can sort by conversion rate. So they're collecting data on all of these templates, finding the ones that work the best and then giving you the best converting ones at the top. So you can take these and then um, basically edit them very easily. You edit the blocks that they have in them. So these, this webinar template, this two host webinar, the single host webinar, they're great and mobile optimized. Everything is, is really where it needs to be, but it's very easy to edit all of the elements, edit the integrations, and then make it work with whatever you're using, which is what I really like about it. So I think that in general, it's a great tool. I'll show you exactly how to, how to do that really quickly. You can kind of see how the interface works if you're considering it. So with this, you have just editable fields here. You can change the font color and, and things by clicking on it. You can change the, the font. And then if you wanted to add more sections or layouts, you can do that easily by clicking and then dragging and dropping different elements in the spots and basically making everything work like that. With the links that you have, you can edit integrations easily by um, clicking on this element that you want to edit, and then you can add it. The lead notifications, which are just email notifications that happen. You can also add additional integrations like MailChimp, um, GoToWebinar, Infusionsoft, and here they have all these different integrations. And if it's not a li listed integration, they have Zapier, which has all kinds of additional thousands and thousands of apps that connect. And it's very simple to use, and it works reliably. Now, I've used this with Active Campaign. I've used it with Infusionsoft, MailChimp, um, 
go to webinar webinar jam just tons of things and it, it works consistently for me really well the only thing that i will say that is if you have um, integrations with like infusionsoft they've changed the api a few times where you've had that so that it stops sending information so you want to make sure that you're always up to date on that um, the other thing that i really like about lead pages too is that you can automatically send a lead magnet which is cool and you can build these so that they get sent out there and let me show you what that looks like but it entails that they get to send out an automatic email that comes from you and it's branded it has things in it it's, it's great so um i think that overall it's a really really solid solution and adding sales pages and sales content in there and upsells is not very difficult to do either so again if you're only selling a few products like a book or if you want people to pay for a consulting session or do things like that i think it's a great solution and um, overall i highly recommend it i don't have any major complaints about it after using it for three years um, and so i totally suggest using this let's jump back in the office here really quick and wrap this up i'll give you some final thoughts to think about here so when i'm comparing lead pages to things like click funnels and other platforms I like that lead pages consistently works. Click funnels for me with integrations has been difficult, um, especially because I have clients that use Infusionsoft and Infusionsoft and click funnels always seem to have problems. Um, you have Zapier integrations with lead pages. So you're able to really connect with any other platform out there. Uh, so that's great. You can sell and have your Stripe account connected there too. So for the money, it's a great value. And I think also for the additional performance for the, um, fast loading pages for the mobile optimized pages, mobile optimized elements, you're gonna have a higher conversion rate. And so if you're sending any amount of significant traffic to these pages, you're going to get benefit of higher conversion rates, which means lower cost per lead. And so if you're sending traffic to websites, it's going to pay for itself just in conversion costs. So you're gonna to wanna to test and see what your base conversion rates are before you start using this, and then what your conversion rates are after. So um, that being said, I think that for the most part, I would totally suggest having lead pages as your landing page software. There's only a few exceptions that I would say, you know, it's probably not a good idea. But for the most part, I really like lead pages and I think it's a great solution that works well with pretty much everybody's marketing plans in general. So definitely thumbs up on this one. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to consider subscribing. I make daily marketing videos here. I help you to improve your digital marketing. And so if you're looking to grow your business online with digital marketing, check out this, um, my other videos and be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching everybody. See you on the next video. Have a great day.